Now, remembering, Calvin, when I first met you, the way I met you was very interesting. Even though it's somewhat of a long story, I'm going to give a, a, a make it condense into a short story. Okay. I remember going to the swamp meet when I was about 19 years old, to the rodeo swamp meet, and uh, meeting Dre there. He was there with uh, Steve Yano. Uh, Jinx was there, though I didn't know him at the time. And Easy was there. And uh, I remember uh, meeting Easy, meeting Jinx, meeting Dre. I remember Steve a actually asked me, so what do you do now? And I said, well, I'm a DJ. I was just maybe about 19 years old, possibly around that time. So I started cutting and scratching there at the swamp meet. Dre comes up to me, and uh, he actually gives me his number. And he says, I want you to hook up with Jinx. I didn't know that they were family. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm thinking, okay, cool. I'm going to be down with the crew, you know. Uh, I called Jinx. He invites me over to his house. We go there. Dre's living with him. And uh, Jinx is telling me, I'm working for a guy named Calvin. Have you heard of VIP Records? And I said, yeah, everybody knows VIP. If you're a DJ, everybody knows VIP Records. You know, I know Calvin. Well, I, I, I knew you by my brother. That's the owner. And that's his brother, King Tim. And I knew more King Tim because he was the one cutting on the turntables. And uh, I said, really? He goes, yeah, we're going to be recording this song soon. And I need some scratching. Would you be down to do some scratching? And I'm like, heck yeah, man. So I remember one morning we went to uh, Echo Sound. Vacek was the engineer. Mm -hmm. And if I'm correct, it was in Glendale. Correct. Okay. And that's when I first met <laughs> you. It was a long story. Made yeah. short is how I actually met Calvin, the wow. owner of VIP, world famous record store, you know. But uh, I remember after that day, we walked out and I saw King T waiting to go in with Pooh. They were getting ready to start recording their album. Wow. Yeah, so that was really, really interesting. That was the first time I actually met King T, the first day that I actually met you as well. Man, I remember that day. Uh, yeah, you came in and put it down for us uh, and, uh, you know, have made the... Uh, uh, Daddy D project of success, and uh, you know it was kind of crazy how a lot of things came together back then. Because even though uh, uh, the way that me and Sir Jinx hooked up, because everybody knew Dre. I mean, Dre had been make, making our mixtapes for years, and uh, uh, it was just the fact that when Jinx told me he was Dre's cousin, I just welcomed him with open arm because. Uh, uh, being the first time that I had ever met him and, and gave him a $2,500 SP-1200 drum machine and, and didn't even, wasn't even concerned about it because he said he was related to Dre. And uh, VIP had had a long history with Dre. Nice. You know, um, it was funny because after that, I know they went on and did other drinks, did other projects. But for me... What made that record special, which came out through your label, Thin Line Records, yeah. coming out of VIP, was because that was the very first song or vinyl or record that ever came out of VIP. Yeah. And for me to have been a part of that, you know, to be a be a part of VIP, you know, history, you know, I come here honest just to thank you oh, wow. for allowing me to be a part of uh, your history. You couldn't have told me that that was the first project that you had ever worked on. Probably would have kicked you out the studio. But, uh, hey, I learned something. Well, stuff because the first time, you put it down. Thank the you. The first time. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you, my brother.